Hello, everybody, and welcome to session three of our program evaluation class. Um, today is going to be a fun and exciting day um, because um, we're talking about programs specifically and the theories that go behind programs and why we care about the theories and how they might lead to actual social change. Um, there's no R code this week. Um, your problem set isn't a problem set. Um, it is um, evaluation based where you'll, you'll think of a program and then write about the background and the theory for that program. Um, and so the content that we'll cover today will help with that. Um, you don't have to do it in R Markdown. I'd recommend doing it in R Markdown just so you can get practice knitting documents, um, even if it doesn't have R code in it. Um, but you can also do it in Word or whatever program you want. That's fine. Um, so the plan for today is we're going to talk about three different sections here. Let's switch over to the slides here. Um, mostly focusing on this idea of theories of change um, and how we can see social change um, through different programs that are implemented um, and how we expect to see that change. Um, but first, I want to talk briefly about this idea of reproducibility in research. Um, which is kind of the justification for why I'm making you learn R and R Markdown this semester. Um, then we'll talk about this idea of program theories and, and why we invent programs and kind of the intention of programs. And then we'll talk about this idea here, um, the ability to draw out a logic model or a results chain, um, which you saw in your readings from the World Bank Evaluation book. Um, and so we'll talk more specifically about the different parts of logic models and results chains. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> 